Hey Redeemer family, it's 2024. And so you're wondering, why are you holding a Christmas tree? Because it's still Christmas. That's right, when you get this video, uh, which is probably Thursday when you get it, it will still be Christmas. Epiphany is coming up on Saturday, and so we move into a new church season then. And so this upcoming Sunday, you'll see a different color up at the front. We'll, uh, we'll be moving into a different liturgical season. But for right now, your Christmas tree still up? Keep it up. Your Christmas lights? Keep them on, because it's not over yet. In fact, there's still time to give presents to your pastor or anybody else uh, as well. So Merry Christmas, everyone, as we continue uh, to be in the Christmas season for a couple more days. Epiphany um, is about the revealing of Jesus, um, this child that was born on Christmas, the incarnation. Who is he? Um, and so we're going to be uh, starting a new sermon series that we're, that we're calling The Revealing, because that's kind of what epiphany means. It's sort of a, a, a revealing. Uh, and, uh, and so we're going to be talking about who is, who is Jesus and what has he done? The person and work of Jesus is really what we're going to do. We're going to spend a lot of time in Mark chapter 1. So if you want to go ahead and get familiar with that uh, chapter, uh, I encourage you to do so as well. So uh, that will begin this Sunday. That is Epiphany Sunday. We also have, it's also the Sunday that we celebrate the baptism of Jesus in one of the Sundays of the year that we do baptisms here at Redeemer. So we have a couple of baptisms at the second, uh, the second service this, um, this Sunday. So exciting things happening uh, along that front. A uh, couple things just as we start this new year, want to keep you aware of. We're doing a lot of calendaring things right now and planning long term. And so we'll, we'll get you all those dates and such as soon as they get, they get clarified. But a couple of things we do have coming up, Booyah Burr for our, uh, where our youth go off to sort of a mini camp for a couple of days. That starts January 12th and uh, runs that weekend. And uh, so we want to be in prayer for, uh, for them and for that time already. We have a Holy Smokes coming up on January 19th at my house. All of the information uh, will be available to you on the website as well. Uh, that uh, And that is a gathering where men get together and we, uh, if you like to smoke a cigar, smoke a cigar with us and there's usually some spirits involved as well. We sit around a campfire in my, uh, in my backyard and just have good discussions about theology and life and whatever else. So uh, that will be January 19th. Uh, also want to want to just highlight a couple of staff uh, staffing transitions that we've already talked about back in our meeting in December, but just it, there's there's a lot going on in December. So I want to make sure that you hear them. Uh, I have asked JD, uh, who has been our director of the fellows, he will continue to be the director of our fellows, but I've asked him to expand his role a little bit uh, to, uh, to include all of Next Gen Ministries, so Next Gen and the, and the fellows program. And so he's going to help bring some direction to our, uh, to our staff members who lead children's ministry, youth, college, he, he's sort of the connective tissue to help bring, uh, bring uh, um, uh, collaboration and encouragement and empowering of our staff and all that we want to do. So very excited for JD to step into senior staff position in that uh, in that role. Part of that too will allow uh, us to tweak Jessica Ronovic's work, who she has been the, the director of children's ministry. She's going to be called the family ministries director. Uh, and the reason for that is because our children's ministry is continuing to grow. Uh, and so we just had to reorganize how that team works together because there was so much stuff on her plate uh, that we needed to, JD can take some of the leadership aspects of things. So, uh, so the significant part of her ministry is not going to change at all. The things that, that you see and how it works um, uh, is not going to change at all, uh, but it allows for the children's ministry to continue to grow and develop as they need to in their various roles with nursery and children's liturgy and all of the things that we have. So, uh, so uh, that's just sort of a, a logistical tweaking of what's happening there as well. 
And then want to give you the good news that we have hired a new director of communications. Uh, Laura Hendrick will be starting with us here later this month in January. If you remember, Anna Howland, who's actually recording this video right now, uh, Anna is, is uh, stepping into a role of, of resident here, and she's doing a pastoral care residency as she trains for the diaconate as well to become a deacon uh, and, and wants to learn and grow and develop in her, uh, in her pastoral ministry abilities. And so she's going to be working with our deacon, Ashley Davis, to be able to do that. So Anna's not going anywhere. She's just transitioning out of her communications role. And uh, and Laura, who has been coming to Redeemer for the last number of months, uh, is, uh, is stepping into this role. And so as she's wrapping up the job she's in right now and transitioning to be with us, we're really excited. She has a lot of background in film uh, and in telling stories and documentary uh, uh, aspects of film. So we're really excited about the video work she's going to do for us, but then everything else as well. She'll continue the great work that Anna has done with our graphics and communicating to make sure you guys know everything that is going on here at the church. So uh, very excited about Laura Hendrick coming and joining us as well. So that's 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 enough for today. There's a, there's a, there's a, a lot going on. We enter into 2024 very excited about all that the Lord wants to do here at Redeemer in you, through you, in your midst. Uh, and we we look forward to seeing what he has in store for us which I'm sure is more than we could ever ask for or imagine. So you enter 2024 uh, dearly loved, seen by your church, a part of some, uh, some spectacular things that God is doing here at our church. We love you. We'll see you soon.